Welcome to our deep dive into the Flat Earth phenomenon. Today, we'll explore the psychology, history, and the age of misinformation that fuels this movement. You might be thinking, the Earth is round, right? And you'd be right, it is. But a surprising number of people believe the Earth is flat. We're not here to mock or belittle anyone. Instead, we're going to take a closer look at the claims, the evidence, and the cultural factors that contribute to this persistent belief. So, who are the faces of the modern Flat Earth movement? This movement, which has gained surprising traction in recent years, is led by a few notable figures who have managed to capture the public's attention in unique ways. Let's start with a man named Mike Hughes, a daredevil who tragically lost his life trying to launch himself thousands of feet into the air in a homemade steam-powered rocket. Hughes, often referred to as Mad Mike, was a self-taught engineer and stuntman who believed that his daring feats could provide the ultimate proof of a flat Earth. His goal? To prove the Earth is flat, of course. Hughes was convinced that mainstream science was hiding the truth from the public, and he was determined to expose what he saw as a grand conspiracy. Hughes is a tragic example of someone who took this belief to an extreme. His story is a cautionary tale about the dangers of letting conspiracy theories drive one's actions to the point of risking life and limb. Then there's Mark Sargent, a more media-savvy figure who gained notoriety with his YouTube series Flat Earth Clues. Sargent's approach is less about physical stunts and more about creating a compelling narrative that questions established scientific facts. Sargent's videos are slickly produced, using a conspiratorial tone and cherry-picked evidence to cast doubt on established science. He skillfully weaves together various pieces of so-called evidence to create a tapestry of doubt that can be very convincing to the uninitiated. He presents the Flat Earth theory not just as an alternative model of the world, but as a suppressed truth, hidden by powerful forces. This idea of a hidden truth is a common theme in many conspiracy theories, and it resonates deeply with those who feel disenfranchised or skeptical of authority. This narrative of us versus them is a powerful recruiting tool, drawing people in with the allure of secret knowledge and a sense of belonging to a select group. The idea that they are part of a small, enlightened community fighting against a vast, shadowy establishment can be very appealing. But the question remains, why is this belief so appealing in the age of instant information and scientific advancement? Despite the wealth of information available at our fingertips, some people find comfort in alternative explanations that challenge the status quo. This could be due to a variety of factors, including a distrust of mainstream institutions, a desire for a sense of control in an increasingly complex world, or simply the thrill of being part of a countercultural movement. The Flat Earth Movement, with its charismatic leaders and compelling narratives, taps into these deep-seated needs and provides a sense of purpose and community for its followers. Believing the Earth is flat isn't just about rejecting scientific evidence. It's a phenomenon that goes much deeper than a simple misunderstanding of geography or physics. It's often rooted in deeper psychological factors. People who subscribe to the Flat Earth theory may be grappling with feelings of alienation or a need for a sense of control in a complex world. One key factor is cognitive bias, our tendency to seek out and interpret information in a way that confirms our existing beliefs. This bias can be incredibly powerful, leading individuals to dismiss any evidence that contradicts their worldview. Then there's conspiratorial thinking, the belief that powerful groups are working in secret to deceive the public. This mindset can be particularly appealing in times of uncertainty or crisis, when people are searching for clear answers. This can be a seductive worldview, offering simple explanations for complex events. It provides a sense of clarity and certainty that can be comforting, even if the explanations are fundamentally flawed. For many flat earthers, distrust in authority, whether it's scientists, governments or the media, is a driving force. This distrust can stem from past experiences or a general feeling of disenfranchisement. This skepticism, while healthy in moderation, can be taken to an extreme, leading to the rejection of well-established facts. When skepticism turns into outright denial, it becomes a barrier to understanding and progress. And let's not forget the sense of community. Flat Earth groups, both online and offline, offer a sense of belonging and shared purpose. These communities provide a space where individuals can find like-minded people who validate their beliefs. For those who feel marginalized or unheard, these communities can be incredibly alluring. They offer not just a platform for their ideas, 
but also a sense of identity and solidarity that can be hard to find elsewhere. You might be surprised to learn that the flat earth theory isn't a modern invention. In fact, it has roots in ancient civilizations, where limited scientific understanding led to various cosmological models. However, the idea of a spherical earth has been around for centuries, with ancient Greek scholars like Pythagoras and Aristotle providing evidence for its shape. The modern flat earth movement can be traced back to the 19th century with Samuel Robotham, who published a pamphlet titled Zetetic Astronomy, Earth, Not a Globe. Robotham's work relied on anecdotal observations and selective interpretations of scripture to argue against a spherical earth. Despite lacking scientific rigor, his ideas gained traction among certain groups, laying the groundwork for the modern flat earth movement. Chapter four. Flat Earth Goes Viral, How Misinformation Spreads in the Digital Age. The rise of the internet and social media has been well a double-edged sword. While these platforms have democratized information, they've also become breeding grounds for misinformation, including the Flat Earth Theory. Algorithms designed to keep us engaged often prioritize sensational content over factual accuracy. This creates echo chambers where users are bombarded with information that confirms their existing biases. Visual persuasion plays a significant role as well. Flat Earth videos often feature slick graphics, compelling narratives and emotionally charged language that can be more persuasive than dry scientific data. This highlights the importance of media literacy, the ability to critically evaluate information we encounter online. Without these skills, it's easy to fall prey to misinformation, no matter how outlandish it may seem. Chapter 5. Science Strikes Back, Debunking the Flat Earth with Evidence. Now let's talk about the science. The idea that the Earth is flat has been debunked countless times through various scientific methods and observations. Overwhelming evidence proves the Earth is a sphere, not flat. From the images taken by satellites and astronauts to the natural phenomena we observe every day, the spherical nature of our planet is undeniable. One of the earliest experiments demonstrating this was conducted by Eratosthenes in ancient Greece. His work laid the foundation for our understanding of the Earth's shape. By measuring the angle of shadows cast by the Sun in different locations, he was able to calculate the Earth's circumference with remarkable accuracy. This experiment was simple yet profoundly effective in proving the Earth's curvature. Lunar eclipses provide further proof. When the Earth passes between the Sun and the Moon, the shadow it casts on the Moon is always curved. During a lunar eclipse, the Earth's shadow falls on the Moon and that shadow is always curved, regardless of the Earth's orientation. This consistent curvature is a clear indication of a spherical Earth. Modern technology, from satellites to GPS systems, relies on the Earth's spherical shape. These technologies are designed based on the principles of a round Earth. These technologies wouldn't work if the Earth were flat. GPS systems, for instance, calculate positions based on a network of satellites orbiting a spherical Earth. Despite the overwhelming evidence, flat Earth proponents often dismiss these proofs as fabrications or misinterpretations. They argue that the images from space are doctored and that scientific experiments are flawed. This highlights the challenges of combating deeply held beliefs with facts. The persistence of the flat Earth theory serves as a reminder of the importance of critical thinking and scientific literacy in our society. It is crucial to continue educating and providing clear, accessible information to counteract misinformation. Chapter 6. Beyond the Horizon. The Bigger Picture of Misinformation. The flat earth phenomenon, while seemingly outlandish, serves as a stark reminder of the broader challenges we face in the age of misinformation. It highlights the importance of critical thinking, media literacy, and a healthy skepticism towards information, especially online. Education plays a crucial role in combating misinformation. By equipping individuals with the tools to evaluate evidence and think critically, we can foster a more informed and discerning public. It's also essential to engage in respectful dialogue with those who hold different beliefs. While it's crucial to challenge misinformation, ridiculing or dismissing individuals will only further entrench their views. Ultimately, combating misinformation requires a multifaceted approach that combines education, critical thinking, and respectful dialogue. Outro, keep asking questions. Thank you for joining us on this journey to understand the flat earth phenomenon. Remember, critical thinking and education are our best tools against misinformation. Stay curious and stay informed.
The world is full of fascinating and complex issues and by approaching them with a critical eye and an open mind, we can better navigate the challenges of our time. Don't be afraid to question, to research and to engage in thoughtful discussions. Together, we can create a more informed and discerning world.